Hi, this is Andy Hunt, Practical Wellbeing. Um, I've been hearing a lot and reading a lot about online courses for things like EFT, NLP, hypnotherapy and the like, uh, and the um, surprising offers um, that these, or surprising claims that some of these courses make that you can be um, an EFT, master practitioner or professional, just by watching a few hours of video and reading some articles. I want to um, suggest that this is probably a really bad idea and that if you're thinking of doing some of these courses that um, you don't and you do something much more useful and effective. So to make the point, uh, imagine the scene that um, Mrs. Smith is uh, going to have uh, cardiac bypass surgery, serious heart surgery, um, to um, assist her uh, to give her a better quality of life. And she's meeting for the first time her surgeon and so Mrs. Smith is like waiting for uh, the preamble for the surgery and the surgeon comes in looking very nice, immaculate, tanned in his perfectly pressed scrubs, looking just the part. And um, Mrs. Smith says, patient says, well, um, I'm a bit kind of um, nervous about this surgery because it's a, it's a really big deal. And the surgeon said, well, there's, there's nothing to worry about, really. I said, kind of, actually, this is my, um, my first one. I'm really excited and I'm up for it. I've um, done the four-hour video training and read the article, so I'm feeling very confident that we can do a really good job for you. And the patient looks a little bit kind of four, four hours, four hours video for this, for this cardiac bypass surgery. Oh, yes, yes. It's kind of, it's advanced um, online training. It's, it's the latest thing. It's, uh, it's very good, it's very effective, um, and I'm, I'm ready, I'm feeling confident. The patient was not kind of convinced by this and say, well, um, okay, that doesn't sound very much. I guess if it's kind of based on your extensive medical training and all the experience you've had in hospitals and dealings with patients up to now, then maybe it'll be all right. Oh, I haven't had any of that. That's, uh, well, that kind of medical school training, that's so last century. I just took the uh, cardiac bypass surgery online master course <clears throat> uh, last week. I watched the videos then um, because I felt I wanted to. I wanted to change jobs. I mean, before this, I was a plumber, and um, I thought, what can I do to help people, be good for people? I thought, well, this is kind of like plumbing. I mean, I can do plumbing. This is kind of advanced plumbing. So I've done the training, and I've watched the videos, and I'm, I'm excited. I'm ready to go. Um, are you up for this? Okay, pop quiz. There are two possible answers to that question, are you up for this? A, yes, I think that would be fine. I think you've done wonderful training and I like the new scrubs and you look great and confident. I'll go for it. And B, no way, get me out of here. Are you insane? For those of you who thought A is the right answer, good luck. No, I mean really good luck because you are so going to need it. If you thought B was the correct answer, then yes, I'd go along with that. There's no way someone can learn to do that kind of work in by watching videos for four hours with no previous experience, no background. That's just it's just a crazy idea. But what's being offered here, it's not quite open heart surgery. Um, but what's been here offered in these video courses is that you can take this course and become a master practitioner, a practitioner, an accredited practitioner with a tiny investment of your time watching some videos, reading some articles, and that you'll be, you'll feel that you're able to deal with people's distress. Now these courses have been offered for NLP, EFT, hypnotherapy. I'm going to speak about the EFT ones because that's the one I'm most kind of familiar with. So I've seen offers things like EFT master practitioner course that involve just watching eight hours of video and reading two articles or professional accredited professional accredited EFT 39 minutes of video and two articles that's nuts really if you think about it if you put yourself in the position of being a client coming to see a practitioner a healing practitioner whatever description the chances are you're going to feel bad about something you're going to want to do something different you'll have um, distressing feelings, emotional things, maybe uh, traumatic memories and the like. 
what you're going to want is someone who knows what they're doing, someone with whom you can feel safe, someone who'll be able to interact with you and find out what you need and help you get to where you want to go with the minimum of distress and the maximum efficiency. You couldn't possibly learn that from watching videos. Watching videos to do EFT is, in my opinion, about as useful as watching videos to learn to ride a bicycle. If you're doing EFT with someone as a practitioner, you're in the room with another human being, or you're online with another human being. Learning how to use these skills means interacting with other human beings, being able to read the situation, change your uh, approach, adjust things, um, benefit from feedback, instruction, clear instruction guidance, to learn the skills of working with other people. You're not going to get that from a video. There's no way you can get that from a video. If you're a client, you want to know that the person you're working with, the person you come for help, knows what they're doing, can keep you safe, can do the right things at the right time to help you get to where you want to go. To do those things, they need practice. They need practice with other people. They need extensive experience, supervised experience. They need supervision and mentoring as they do this sometimes difficult, challenging work. That's the very least that a client can expect. And if you're, um, if you want to become an EFT or any other kind of practitioner to help people, then um, bravo! It's a wonderful aspiration to want to help people. Um, it ain't that simple. It's not as simple as just watching some videos and reading some articles and then being competent and confident in being able to work with other people. That takes training, practice, supervision, lots and lots and lots of learning and lots and lots of help. Um, being called a practitioner, calling yourself a practitioner or a master practitioner or a professional practitioner after just a few hours of watching videos um, would be hilarious if it wasn't so scary. So if you want to do this, if you want to become a, say, an EFT practitioner, then you need to get in-person training with other people uh, from an organisation that has structure and pathways to get that kind of uh, training experience. I'm a trainer for AMET, the Association with Advancement of Meridian Energy Techniques. Um, you can find out about them on uh, amet.org and you can look at how um, training is structured with them. It's a lot more involved, takes more time, probably takes more money, um, but if you want to do a good job, either for yourself, learning EFT for your own development, or to help other people, then it's expense, uh, the time and money you need to make. And there's just no way around that, in my opinion. Um, if you want to be taken seriously as a practitioner, you have to take the business of being a practitioner seriously. So if you're thinking of taking one of these courses, I hope I've persuaded you to save your money and save up your money and invest it in something more useful. Um, I don't think it does a service to you or to people that you want to help um, to do something that's just plain not going to work as an effect. So I hope that helps. Um, uh, thank you for your attention and hope to see you again sometime. Thank, take care now. Bye bye.